So here we are at Seikaiichi no Game Center every day here in beautiful Saitama. Joining me for this report is Bob Worley, comedian for Pirates of Tokyo Bay, and director producer of My Life Japan, Alan Welsh. So why are we here? Well, we're here to play some crane game. Yeah, and um, we're also going to be learning the ins and outs, like the nuts and bolts of the crane games. We're going to be getting tips and pointers on how to play better and how to win more. And then finally, we're going to get a certificate saying that we're the Crane Game Master. A diploma, this is a Crane Game School, and it's also known for something else, Alan? The Guinness Book of World Records. That's right, this place is in the Guinness Book of World Records for having the, the most, most Crane Games in, in the world! world. <laughs> Gotta be awesome, we should check it out. In Japan, game centers like this are still alive and well. This may seem retro to many in the game console generation, but really, look at this place. You can actually win this stuff, if you have the skill. Games in all shapes and sizes, glass boxes filled with stuff, toys and other goodies. It's all waiting to be owned by you. The crane game is also called the UFO catcher or the claw game. This crane has a mechanism called a pincher, two ends that pinch what you're after. It seems easy, just grab that hook. Sometimes it takes a few tries. Yes, there really is a strategy to these crane games, and we've come here to master it, if that's even possible. But first, a message from the manager. The Niagara Falls method. The technique for winning this machine is obvious. Get the pile of stuff to fall, like Niagara Falls. The instructor shows us how it's done. The pinchers attack the whole pile. It closes and pulls the items up, starting an avalanche. Watch again. You know what to do. Often, you have to do this two or three times to set up the big fall. Remember, don't always look for that easy win, even though the instructor makes it look like a piece of cake. The Triangle Method. The Triangle Method works well with long objects. You want to pick it up in the front third, not the middle. This locks the item in place between the pincher and the pincher's upper base. It may take a couple of tries to get the object into position. The key is to get it perpendicular, lining up perfectly so it doesn't slip out. Well, you can see what the instructor is doing. It's just that simple. The overturned table. The overturned table, named after the angry man at home or in your company meetings who topples the table over in anger or frustration. That's right. All your frustration over the years may help you win big in the crane game. In a way, the idea is similar to the triangle method you need to get the item in position to flip it. Grab it from the rear and it will be easier to steer. The instructor overturns the bear in one try. Now it's our turn. We've been unleashed for trial and error with 30 tickets. It's part of the course. Bob's been thrown into the crane game world this time armed with more crane knowledge than usual. All right, I'm gonna take a whole hook. I've learned how to do the whole hook. These are whole hooks. We're gonna get it done. 
he accepts the challenge and will use this method, the whole hook. Here's an example of a perfect whole hook win from the instructor. The pincher claw enters one of the holes, the box leans in and the prize is yours. Just don't topple the box over. It's worth a second attempt with one more box left standing. He really wants that one piece action figure. Close, but oh so far. Sorry, Bob. Here's Alan going for it. He's found a popular Hello Kitty stuffed bear machine. One may say he's pretty sure of himself. It might be from all that studying today. See, these items have a string loop requiring the pincher to thread the needle. It requires surgeon-like precision. Attempt five. Boom, success. Sort of. Sometimes it's just not your day. I found a treasure heap requiring the Niagara Falls method. First attempt, instant ego boost. Did you see that? I could get them all with one more Careful, careful, avalanche. The prize is mine. After an hour of few successes and many failures, we graduated. Alan. Bob. And myself. We're grads. Boy, that's great. So we're kind of like experts of the crane game now. True masters. Yeah. Hold on. Where's Bob? Oh, there he is. Hey, guys. I did it. Hey. I went back. I didn't give up. And I got the hook. I got the hook, man. I've totally earned this certificate. We all have. Yes, we have. This is awesome. That's right. So if you come to Japan, you got to try the, the crane game. game. It's awesome. It's so cool. Let's go get some more stuff. Yeah, I can do it now. Honestly, there is a strategy to this. Some say it's part of Japan's culture to find the littlest flaws in something and try to perfect them. It requires constant practice to perfect any skill. Attention to details. Crane games are no exception. Practice makes perfect, and on this day, we are level one masters. That means something in this building full of UFO catcher games. Maybe even outside of it. Game centers may be able to take our money, but they'll never be able to take away our insider knowledge, our winnings, and our freedom.